opening guys. Um, that it's an extension of the previous one, and this is kind of what we expected that they were going to issue this. So, you know, uh, Raleigh took over and they issued a new tornado warning for Stanley County, and that's until 4 p.m. And that's the same storm. It's just now shifted. So you could see that storm um, south of Albemarle. There's a little bit of a couplet right Look here. Look how it kinks in right there. Yeah. Right there. Mm -hmm. You know, we always say that word. It feels weird. It's when, when the line, you know, straight line winds, typically in a squall line like this, the, the wind field looks straight. When you see little ebbs and flows or what we call kinks in the line, think of a hose. Um, if your hose has ever gotten kinked up and you hear that sound of the water kind of rushing through the kink, that's because the water's accelerating through there. And when that happens in the atmosphere, that acceleration can create higher winds and, and actually rotation. So what you're seeing is in these little bow echoes and these pop out like this, is you're seeing that right south of Albemarle, maybe a little bit of rotation showing up right there. And that's what's happening in the line. Um, you know, you don't want to see straight line winds all the time, but in, in this case, you'd rather see this line be straight like this. But look at the way this line is actually oriented. If you look carefully, I'm going to actually change the color of my my line here, so it's a little easier see to see. Get a little bit better. We'll make it a little bit bigger too, because that's a little bit harder to see. Um, we'll make it a little bit bigger. So look at the line. It looks like a snake. These little right. S curves. So every one of these, what you're seeing is the wind is pushing out this way, the wind is pushing out that way, the wind is pushing out that way, and then the wind is pushing in in there. And so all these areas can actually spin up. Mm -hmm. So that's what we call, we call it a QLCS. We like to use acronyms in the weather department. <laughs> and what that stands for, it's a long term for a squiggly line right. of storms. That's, we have a weather IQ on it too. Yeah, so, <laughs> so yeah, if you want to check that out, but a QLCS, Believe it or not, it actually stands for quasi-linear convective system. I know that's a mouthful. You're probably like, I would prefer you say QLCS next time. But um, it basically means a squiggly line of storms. And when they squiggle like this, you tend to see quick spin-up tornadoes instead of just straight line winds. And that's what we're seeing right now from Albemarle all the way back into northern Chesterfield County. Right, and the wind is essentially changing uh, speed and direction with height um, as we look at areas of rotation here. Um, and this is one area, and we've been talking about looking at the velocity data, and Brad, I know a lot of times people, we don't use this image a lot when we talk about Doppler winds, and really it's more of an X-ray looking inside the storm, and it's um, looking at the winds. They're elevated nonetheless, but sometimes when we um, get a sample of the winds, it can give us an indication of what that wind speed is that could be mixed down to the ground. And if we look at um, the velocity um, with it, and put the query on here, this will give us an idea. Uh, for instance, this one's 43, and a lot of times we've seen them much, much higher um, when we sample uh, the wind speeds that could potentially mix down to the ground. So uh, once again, this is just one of those areas that uh, we look at when we sample um, the storms. But if you take it back here, just go back just a little bit, notice how this sort of kinks in a little bit more as we've talked about, and this yeah. is that area that is um, worn right now for Union and Stanley counties, and let's put it back on the velocity data there. Yeah, I, I, the I mean, where I'm really worried about is southeast of Albemarle mm -hmm. now. So, this area southeast of Albemarle, between Albemarle and River Haven, uh, on Stony Gap Road, there, there's definitely some rotation there. As KJ was just pointing out, that that's a significant little bulge of uh, wind there. Definitely tells me we're getting some spinning. So heading towards Baden and Uari National Forest. Um, this is going to be traveling towards Montgomery County as well. So if you're in Stanley County, um, you know, central St uh, Stanley area, that is the area we're concerned about. But even southern Stanley, it looks like another little kink in that line is developing. And so we've got two separate warnings, but it's essentially the same line. And, you know, that's why if, if you've been watching it all today, we've just, just basically been tracking the whole line. Just everybody in the path of this, you got to treat it like it's a tornado warning. So Albemarle, Uwari, Wadesboro, Troy, Asheville, Bisco, I mean, all these areas, you're in the path of a line of very strong winds, some of it's straight line and some of it's rotating. But in the grand scheme of things, wind is wind. It's not going to matter whether it's rotating or straight, it's going to cause damage. And that's what we're worried about. We want you and your family to be safe. So head to that shelter location. If you're not familiar with it, uh, if you're a kid home from school right now, um, and maybe you're watching something or your phone went off and you're wondering what's going on, 
This is what we want you to do. If mom and dad aren't there, head to that middle room and in the interior of your house, head to the lowest floor, grab your brother, your sister, your pets, head there right now. If you have a helmet, great. Get that skateboard helmet, football helmet, maybe dad's hard hat or something. Throw it on your head. We want you to protect your head. Put as many walls between you and the outside. I want you to think of those walls as like force fields. We're gonna be blocking the bad stuff from getting to you. So the more of those force fields we have, the better to protect you from the flying debris that the winds are picking up and throwing at you. It could be parts of trees, could be debris in the yard, could be parts of other buildings around you, but we want you to find that safe spot. We will give you the all clear when you can leave that spot, but bring your phone or your iPad with you and we will give you the all clear on when you can head out because these storms have had a history of unfortunately causing damage and